the top 10 best houseplants for allergy sufferers. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Here are the best plants to care for in your home, including how to grow them. I selected easy to grow plants that reduce allergies. Peace Lily. It is easy to care for and grows rapidly, making it one of the best indoor plants for purifying the air. Peace lilies break down and neutralize toxic gases, and also remove mold from the air. If you're sensitive to pollen, a peace lily is an ideal flower because its pollen is stickier and heavier than other flowers, making it less likely to stay in the air and cause irritation. It can withstand a minimum temperature of 55 degrees Fahrenheit. The Dracaena plant is widely known for helping to remove allergens from indoor air and exacerbate allergies. According to NASA's Clean Air Study, Dracaena traps benzene, formaldehyde, and trichloroethylene, along with carbon monoxide, as well as allergens in its leaves. Dracaena reflexer is a terrific choice for allergy sufferers, thanks to its superior air cleaning quality. There are several cultivars to choose from, including varieties with cream and yellow margins. Arica palm is the number one best indoor air purifying plant according to the National Institute of Health's 2011 study. Its natural humidifier improves allergy symptoms, like nasal congestion and irritation, by increasing the amount of water vapor in the air. As discussed in the NASA Clean Air Study, the Arica palm is among the best purifiers for formaldehyde, carbon monoxide, xylene, and toluene removal from the air. The large leaves help to remove allergens and toxins. Hedera helix is said to ease allergies by removing irritants and reducing airborne mold spores. This plant has helped us tremendously so we have several pots in our home. Remember that this plant can be poisonous to humans and animals, so be sure to keep it away from children and pets. Place it up high on a shelf and let it trail down for an elegant display, but trim it back before it gets long enough for your kids to reach. It is almost impossible to kill spider plant, Chlorophytum camosum, a hardy houseplant that is excellent for beginners. The spider plant also filters out toxins like benzene, formaldehyde, carbon monoxide, and xylene, which is used in the rubber, leather, and printing industries. Golden Pothos. It has been listed among NASA's top three plants for reducing formaldehyde indoors, alongside the philodendron, spider plant, and golden pothos. It is very easy to grow and has air purifying properties, which makes it an excellent addition to any room. Hartleaf philodendrons, philodendron scandens, are excellent for improving indoor air quality, but they often increase allergies. You might want to place it around furniture that emits irritating formaldehyde since philodendrons are particularly effective at tackling sources like particle board. A snake plant, Sansevieria, is easy to grow and one of my favorite plants. It can survive being neglected for weeks, even months. This plant can be grown in the home at any time of year, whether for ease of care or to reduce ozone levels in closed rooms. It converts carbon dioxide into oxygen at night, making it a good choice for allergy sufferers. The NASA studies recommend two rubber trees growing in 8 to 10 inch pots in every 100 square feet of your home for allergy sufferers. The rubber tree has been recommended as one of the best houseplants for beginners and is a top clean air plant. Among rubber trees, formaldehyde is particularly effective at removing it, which causes eye, nose, and throat irritation when off-gassed by furniture, gas stoves, fireplaces, and even certain building materials. Dum cane, also known as Diefenbachia, works to clean the air of pollutants such as toluene and xylene. These irritants harm allergies and respiratory health. As its common name suggests, dumb cane makes people, or animals, dumb, after consumption. It also causes stinging and burning in the mouth and throat. It is an easy-to-grow plant with beautiful foliage that adds beauty even in low-light environments.